are you going, Pat? Summer warm. California, here we come. Right back where we started from. California, California. To life then this, reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. Just grab my hand from him send. We need to We are here in California. Today, <laughs> today is gonna be more of a sightseeing day. We're gonna go check out Torrey Pines, look at the ocean. If there's like a little disc golf course, we might go over there and play, but probably not thinking about disc golf until tomorrow. That reminds me, I need to call Goat Hill and see if I can make a tea time Sometimes for you can tomorrow. play at night in California. Sometimes you can't play at night. Oh God, my dad's flavoring the car right now. Ugh. What's he doing? Look at that. No. To be really specific, that is the Pacific. Oh, we can Checked into our Airbnb, pretty nice. Dad's got the bedroom. We got a little offshoot of the bedroom. Pretty funky, like 1950s. Got done at Torrey Pines, which you just saw. Amazing scenery, as well as some time on the beach. Absolutely incredible. It's February, so right now there's a challenge where I try to do a new kendama trick every day of the month. Today was day six, and it's presenting itself to be actually really challenging. I'm trying to learn some more kind of technical tricks, and let me just say, I've been close on a lot of them. If you do any sort of cool trick combo, you have to end it on the spike. So even if you do like the toughest part of the trick, and don't spike it, then it's kind of like, you didn't really do it. So I've landed some really good tricks, but, I haven't been able to finish with the spikes. We need to go get some food and uh, get to sleep because we're going to play Goat Hill practice run tomorrow and then going back to San Diego because Ratana is actually applying for the global entry. We were able to get an appointment, which is actually really rare, you know, anywhere in the country. So the fact that we got an appointment, when, yeah, the fact that we got an appointment here in San Diego is actually really lucky. We're taking full advantage of that. So a lot of fun things lined up. Let's go get some food. I think I'm gonna stick with move chiropractic and yoga. I don't know if this is uh there's something off about it. <laughs> Had a good night's sleep, I got actually really cold. These two, the coffee, the coffee fiends are getting their coffee. And then afterwards, we got a practice round at Goat Hill. It's like 8.30 right now, just getting out early. Like I said yesterday, baton has got an appointment in San Diego at the airport. So we're gonna get this round done, head down there, get some food. It's gonna be a good day try to get maybe a few little shots of me throwing here but that's always hard to do whenever you're vlogging and trying to film shots it's so hard so like when you watch like a simon vlog or any vlog when it's like a practice run they're filming it themselves it takes a pretty significant amount of effort so you should appreciate it <laughs> so i know i do practice round one is done and played pretty good. Here's my scorecard 
right there. And as you see, 14 down and I got 11 out of the last 12, which putts were dropping. And the goal out there is, is not going full power because a lot of the time, if you try to go too much, you can really burn them over and like put yourself in bad position. So my whole goal is just to throw smooth, maybe like 75 to 80% power shots just in the middle of the fairway. And then that usually sets me up for either a fairway to a approach, like a tactic style approach on a lot of the holes. So if I can just get that kind of rhythm dialed in, I feel like I can find a really nice cadence and you know, hopefully set myself up on the good side of the basket because it does get a little bit windy out there. But good first practice round and a lot of big shots. Uh, Dad, remember the time when we were by the ocean and you told the joke about how a horse walked into the bar and asked for a drink with horseradish in it? Remember that? No, he asked for a Bloody Mary with horseradish. That's exactly what I just said, and you no, said no. I, I had it right. I had it right. Red and white, blue ultra shoes. He's Uncle Pat. How do you do? Fill the cup. Say what's up. You can call this song the Goat Hill Blues. The Goat Hill. Walk, Goat Hill. Walk that hill up and down. Well, don't they say the skin the goat or something? Yeah. It's Thursday, the day before Goat Hill. Yesterday, I played a round with Eric, as well as Gavin Babcock. Then we went to go get some food with them, walked down by the beach, played some Kendama, and actually ran into Gavin again and went out to dinner. Um, really cool dude, really down to earth. I'm gonna enjoy having him on the team. Play some more practice rounds with him this year. As you can tell, another day in paradise. Somebody asked me if I'm nervous. Are you nervous today? Just a little bit, but not really. That must be your partner. <laughs> Did you prepare that answer? Yeah. Round one is coming nervous. up. You should be nervous. There's so many people here. There are, are a lot of people. Uh. If only my round could have been like that. Easy. It wasn't. I started off shaky. Bogeyed the first hole, I almost bogeyed the second hole, and I bogeyed the third hole, and I was just thinking, what is going on here? But luckily, I cleaned it up. I started getting on a run. I was plus two at one point. Finished the round with eight under, making it on the lead card, which I'm happy about. I really wanted to be on lead card. There was a lot of good shots made. I had four bad holes. Let's just look at this. I played 14 good holes and I played four bad holes. Or really, maybe four bad shots. Now that you think of it like that. Check out the Central Coast coverage. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I'm three off the lead and I feel like it's still far, far, far from over. I just need to go out there and kind of eliminate some of the mistakes and just do what I do when I feel like I should just be right on track. Still having fun. My whole concept of playing disc golf today was you're gonna make mistakes, you gotta be okay with them, don't get mad. And I didn't really get mad until my one shot on 16 and I got really mad. I just thought this is unreal. I shook it off, I birdied the last two to uh, put in a respectable score. Two more days to go and uh, I'm starting to figure out the course more and more. Welcome to Saturday. Moving day! Moving day! It's moving day! Yay! Moving day! Crush it! I'm moving to Today? California. 
pay taxes. Just a quick update in bed. And I want these vlogs to be a little bit structured. I don't want it to like go without an update each day, but we'll see how that goes. Day was good. Made a lot of good shots, shot 11 under. Same amount of birdies as yesterday. Really no, no gripes about today's round other than hole number 11. Watch Central Coast footage. It was a disaster. I threw inside the circle, missed the putt. Then I missed like a 15 footer just because I lapse in mental judgment. And if you watch the video, I, I took the whale sack by its neck and I completely ripped its head off. <laughs> and it exploded. It was a moment of anger, but I feel like I cooled off pretty immediately after that. The rest of the round was good and uh, shot a pretty respectable 11 under and I'm tied for the lead. One more round to go, tied with Cody Kirkland, a few other good players behind me. It's time to go to sleep. <sighs> Vlogception. I'll be sure to let you guys know to go check out Ratana's vlog, go support her, please. And thank you. Final day. Check baggage, perhaps. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know if you've seen the Central Coast coverage yet. I can't wait to watch the video and, and, and see the magic that gets you 12 under par on Sunday and 31 under par total. Our first place finisher in MPO, Eagle McMahon. Locking this in early in the season. Got a nice little uh, lawn ornament now. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank the staff first and foremost, AJ, Alan, and everyone else who made that event happen. Thank you, SoCal, for having some awesome weather. This was a no-brainer to start the year, especially before heading into the Elite Series. And yeah, thank you to all you guys for coming out, supporting. Uh, it's always good to play in front of the crowd. And then thank you to Central Coast for uh, broadcasting it to the world. And of course, thank you to my dad and my girlfriend, Bertana, for coming out and supporting. <laughs> Sponsors, Disc Mania, Grip Equipment, Move Chiropractic Yoga, Disc Golf Strong, um, Puck Lab, um, Sport Me, and uh, Make It All Possible. Squeeze Thank you, everybody. Hold it up, hold it up! <laughs> we did it guys we had a week in california and the mission was accomplished i won the goat hill challenge after a long cold off season and man it feels good to rip shots again the next event is we got one week at home. We're flying out today and uh, I'll be training with my trainer three days. Really pumped to have come down here, play the goat, take down the goat. Shout out to all the people I played against this weekend. It was a lot of fun. Seeing Cupcake play was really cool because I met him when he was just a little tyke and uh, to compete against them is really cool. Not a little so, cupcake anymore. He, He's not. He's he's the full cake now. Cake. Thank you guys for your support. Vlogs are back. I'm gonna try to do tournament style vlogs like old days now. I also have a Patreon where I do monthly contests and patch, uh, chat. patch chat exclusive content. There's different tiers, so go check that out if you want to win some exclusive eagle merchandise, special Discmania disc. I do about four contests a month over there. Thank you guys for the support. I'll catch you at Vegas. Until next time, keep on dreaming. Peace.